January 2018 YouTube Pagan Challenge. So for this month, it's the letter A and B. This year, it's the alphabet and kind of like participant's choice kind of thing. So I, for A and B, it's amethyst and broom. So I... I'm wearing an amethyst. I wear an ameth amethyst bracelet pretty much every day for the past year or so, and I have four like pretty much tumbled amethyst. I think, I'm pretty sure, I think, I'm with this was my second type of crystal I got. I believe I got my blue lace eye gate first. I got, I think this is my first crystal, but I'm pretty sure the, these were my and if this was my second or third crystal that I got. So it, it is very popular for a first crystal. If not, like, behind a clear quartz. And it is part of, like, the quartz family with citrine. And amtrine is a term that has been like coined with like the merge of these two because they are in the same family and all that. So my so this video is gonna be a little informational. I already have a video that is fully about broom lore, so I'm just gonna do a little bit about I'm gonna put a few of those points into this video and a little bit of amethyst because I'm like because I already have two videos planned for um, citrine and goldstone why not add amethyst in as well even though there's like even though there is a number of videos about amethyst already just be bringing out some information for you guys so again it, amethyst, amethyst is for a lot of people their first stone and again, it's a type of quartz, one of the most popular uh, to me, just behind the clear quartz, because like the clear quartz is the one all uh, crystal for a lot of people. To a lot of people, it's so you got it's a purple trans translucent semi-precious stone so you got so you can pretty much see my fingers behind this one and it goes from like this all the way to like a deep purple which you can see in this one I have so you do have that and on the hardness scale, it's number seven. And I should really look into that more, but it is high up there. And it's always some sort of shade of purple. And it is very closely related to citrine. And I think citrine is also a six or seven on the hardness scale. And I think I saw like it this being called like it's either bur burnt citrine or burnt amethyst. I think it's like this one. That's the name of it. So like with wearing amethyst, it can it's said it can be helpful for ongoing everyday support, but it but if you can if you have, say, a tumbled stone or like a cluster placed in some sort of 
like on your desk or on like a counter that you regularly work near, it can support specific activities like work or if you put it on like say a counter or near a cupboard for like if you're somebody that cooks, it can help with that. So it can help for some people, it all depends on the person, with dealing with a lot of stress, can help with insomnia, and those prone to depression and overall melancholy feeling, and it's a cleansing both physical, physically and psychologically. So, it's a go, and if this is a go-to helpful, protective, uh, helpful stone. <laughs> so, and I'm very fine with having. amethyst as like a tumbled stone because I don't because I'd rather have citrine as my bigger stone like this I'd rather have a big stone or cluster of citrine than amethyst but amethyst is a very helpful stone and be wearing it my, as of recording this, a few hours ago, my, I also had a citrine bracelet, but it broke on me. So, this is, this is helping me out. So, very common kind of thing. And, so, that is letter A, letter B, broom. So, I'm going to do more of the broom lore. Just bring a few the things that I've said in my broom lore video. Let me bring up, I'm going to bring up something else here. So, there is like a few different lores. A lot of them are simple as like similar to like where you go. Like, bad luck if you loan your broom to anyone. Even if it's, oh, it's my mom, it's a friend. Bad luck. And there's a few different, like, marriage, like, marry kind of lore. Like, in Germany, if you drop a broom, you'll get married the same day in a year. The next year, on that exact day you drop that broom, <laughs> you're going to get married. And, like, in Italy, if a broom falls, someone will marry. It's not you specifically, but someone would marry. And so along with the marriage bandwagon, sorry, I had a lot of tea today. If a person wishes to marry, they should never let anyone sweep a, a circle around them. If a family changes in its residence, don't leave a broom behind. Can, even if it's sold, it can, the broom Even, like, even if it's old, don't, like, leave it behind, because, like, it could bring bad luck. So, if you lay a broom across your threshold on New Year's Day, it will help keep away evil spirits throughout the year. So, I have my broom hanging on my, like, on my bedroom door. Likely not very helpful. At the start, uh, at the start of the year, but I think it, like to me, it's been helpful, <laughs> and it was locally made. So, and it's called a witch's broom. So, positive on my note. <laughs> and broom spot in May will keep a family away. And another note is don't buy a broom in August. Also, bad luck. So, 
but I like to like move a broom okay so old wife's tail to toughen the bristles uh, to last longer dip in hot salt water before using so there's that there's like a little good advice when sweeping use alternative side so so like in the corners of the broom to keep it like to wear evenly so you're not just using one side so unlock unlucky to sweep on mon on monday and sweeping out dirt out of the house on friday and it will call also call us bad luck so mon monday or friday like beginning or on any of the week don't sweep. <laughs> so carry a broom under your arm for luck. Over the shoulder is bad luck. So under the arm for good luck. And put a broom under or if you don't have the ability to put a broom under your bed, put it beside to help with bad dreams. You can also use a smaller broom to put it under your pillow as well. I saw, so I've seen both under and under your bed and under your pillow. So there's that and there's different types of broom magic. So like mainly when you're getting a new broom, like to bless it, consecrate it, protection while sleeping to safeguard your bed and a few other things and so there's never leave home for long periods of time without telling your broom treat your broom as you would any other member of your family with honor reverence and respect uh, magical brooms are not regular cleaning brooms and should not be used for such mine mundane tasks so have a separate broom like at the swiffer <laughs> and I wouldn't use the broom that I got that's hanging on my door for cleaning my bedroom or any other place in the house. So, oil your broomstick with every turn of the wheel. There's So there's different spells out there, and you got the time old wedding, like hand fasting lore, and so, so that, those are my two topics for this month's YouTube Pagan Challenge. Letters A and B of the alphabet, amethyst, and broom. Happy readings.